Yeah, I think that might help. Oh, hey guys. Yeah, welcome back to Hands On Channel. Uh, today we're taking a look at this uh, Yard Tough 60 inch pine straw rake. Uh, my wife purchased this on Amazon. Basically, if you've uh, followed the channel for a while, you know I've got like 40 something, 40, almost 50 pine trees in my property here on my two acres and they kind of surround my property. So all the way around the edges of my place, it's always a constant job for my wife and I to keep up with it and try to keep the pine needles up off the ground. Uh, and if you don't keep them up off the ground, the grass won't grow. And then, of course, that's also a big fire danger. If there's, uh, there's times here in this state where we get, you know, droughts and stuff like that, and then wildfires and such can happen, and you don't want that. So you, don't, you definitely don't want to leave fuel laying around in your yard, especially if you're in a high-risk area. So, and another thing I worry about with these pine trees is that because they're all so close together, they could do what they call a crown fire. So if anything on the ground ever lit, and it lit up uh, one of these trees, then all the other ones would light more than likely, kind of like dominoes or like a chain reaction. So we don't want that. We want to keep that down. And you know, another thing is if you're into gardening and such, uh, pine needles are great for mulch. So look into that. Uh, not all plants like it, but a lot of, in a lot of cases, you can use pine, tree, uh, pine mulch uh, to go around your trees and stuff like that. It'll help keep the weeds down and keep you from having to buy mulch. So there's some good stuff about pine, but Boy, it's a big hassle to have to rake up by hand. So my wife and I picked this thing up. And as you can see, it's a basically a implement that you pull behind a riding lawnmower or a, as you see here, I've got my Traxster hooked, hooked up to it, a four-wheeler. Uh, the reason that I would recommend this is better for a four-wheeler is here in a, here in a little bit when I'm showing you some demos of this, you'll see with this four-wheeler, I've got such good ground clearance, I can actually drive right up over the top of the big pile so it helps me to be able to pull everything right where I want it. Where if I was on my riding lawnmower, sure, it would pull it, but I wouldn't be able to kind of drive over the pile that I've already made and my lawnmower would get hung up because it just doesn't have the ground clearance. So uh, if you don't have as many pine needles to deal with as I do, and you know, this thing will also pick up sticks and leaves and stuff like that, but mainly I got it for pine straw. Uh, but if you don't have that many uh, pine trees like I do, but you've got a lot of leaves and sticks and stuff like that, It'll work uh, behind a riding lawnmower. You're just going to have to make your make your piles more like a long line rather than one big pile. So it kind of depends on what you're going for. But so far, out of the box, this thing does work. But I read the reviews on it. I was a little hesitant to buy it because a lot of people said that basically uh, once you got a big enough pile rolled up in here, this thing would just kind of overcome it would the spring tension or the downward weight of this thing wouldn't allow it to hold down to the ground and instead it would just roll up over the pile and that's what i've found too i can get a pretty decent little uh line rolled up inside of there but then it'll get to a point where it digs into the ground and this thing just goes up over the top of it so i actually installed a trampoline spring in here i had an old trampoline that i saved all the springs from it i put a couple of brackets in here to give it some downward spring tension and I thought maybe that might be enough. And I actually put two springs in at one time, but when I put two springs in, basically I would get to the point where this thing would raise up like this and it wouldn't lower back down. See, I'm moving the handle, but it's not going back down. So it wasn't very convenient for being on the lawn or on the uh, four wheeler and being able to flip this lever to raise and lower. But the idea is you pull, you know, you drag along until you've got a big pile in there and you're raking up a big pile and you take it to where you want and then you reach back and lift this lever and that releases it. You drive forward a little bit and then you drop it back down and you're back in business. Uh, when I put more springs on, it was working better uh, just to have some downward pressure kind of trying to pull this toward the ground. Uh, but I still needed to add weight. So what, what I've done over here is I've grabbed a motorcycle tire and I stuck a couple of pieces of just some pieces of log in there, some pieces of wood to give it some weight. And the last time I used this, I ran it around the yard with that motorcycle tire and it worked a lot better. I still think I'm gonna have to do some other kind of mod to it. I thought about, uh, and this is probably the most logical thing because I really don't want weight up here on top of these guys here. So more than likely I'm gonna build a bracket or weld on a bracket or something that comes up over the top here or maybe comes off of these angles here. Okay, so basically you can see I put that spring in right there. Uh, and I threw a couple of these brackets. I had these brackets around. They're galvanized. I threw those on there so it would give me some places to anchor some springs. And I just ran the spring up to the, to the actual tine, the spring tine itself. So it does work, and it did help quite a bit. 
to do that. So if you buy one of these, you're not going to get that spring or any of those brackets. You're going to have to provide those yourself. But so far, I really like the concept of this thing. I think I can work with it and make it work for my application here. And I'll just pan around here and show you kind of what I'm dealing with here. This is just one section where I've got about 15 pine trees. And if I don't clear this out, basically it kills all my grass. And then uh, when a big rain will come, uh, it'll wash away my dirt. So we can't have that. Uh, this is one of the worst sides. I saved this for you guys because I want to see how this is going to do. One thing I've noticed is that uh, some of the pine lint, pine straw, when you get it, when it's been sitting there for a really long time, it will get dirty and you'll pick up a lot of dirt with it. Of course, the dirt's heavier than the pine straw, so it's probably why it's overcoming this thing, thing in some instances. But so far, I really like the thing. Uh, I think it's going to be good and usable. One thing I was concerned about was that you don't, I don't know if you can buy spring tines to replace these. So if the tines go bad, uh, I guess you're just kind of up the creek. You'll have to either make some or... I don't know what you could do so uh, that's one downside to this I don't know about replacement parts on it but otherwise it seems pretty good I think it's gonna save me a lot a lot of back breaking and wrist breaking work because you know in time man it's really about time my wife and I sometimes it takes us you know usually the leaves the pine needles will fall twice a year and usually it can take us up to a month to get each time to get it cleaned up and with this thing I think I'm gonna be able to knock it out in about uh, maybe a weekend, maybe a week at max, because I've got a lot of it, man. So anyways, guys, I'm going to get the camera set up and just show you guys how it works without, I'm going to leave the spring on there because I don't feel like pulling it off, but I'm going to get this set up and show you guys how it works without the weight on it. And you can see what I'm talking about. And then we'll throw the motorcycle tire on there and I'll drag a couple of piles and we'll see what you guys think of it. Okay guys, as you can see, I stuck a motorcycle tire on there. I've got a couple of pine logs, just some kind of green pine logs back in there, just in the back end of that, just for some extra weight. Because basically the problem is, the thing seems to be working great, but it just needs more weight back on the back end. I actually thought about, uh, you can see here where the brackets connect from the rake part of it to the trailer part of it. Uh, I thought about 
welding on or attaching, bolting on some kind of angle iron that comes up and goes over and then shoots off the back over the top of the rake, way up above the tines, not way above, but you know, like a few inches above the tines so that I'm not riding a tire around on top of the tines. But so far this has been working a lot better, but I think it needs some improvement. I think we're gonna have to put some kind of weight kind of hanging out back past the, past the uh, rake and you don't want too much obviously because this thing's not made for you know a whole lot of weight but uh it's got to do a better job than it's doing here for me i've got to i've got to be able to get as you can see i was just barely getting any i want to be able to get quite a bit more than that so let's see if it works a little bit better with this tire on there